thank you very much. I'm your host, Bobby Bones, which I know my name sounds like a 70s porn star, but if you've seen my work, believe me, I'm no star. Thank you very much, everyone. That's right. Hope you're all staying safe because it's summertime, but don't get too excited because remember, it's still 2020. This year will forever be a skid mark on the undies of our history books. That's right, my friends. All right, let's play the game. The game is simple. Get a question right and move on to the next round and be closer to cold, hard cash. Get a question wrong, you'll be forced to sit front row at the Chase Rice Corona Concert Series. So you don't <laughs> <laughs> All right, <laughs> let's welcome our guest this week. <laughs> we have country artist Granger Smith. Granger has almost 1 million followers on his Instagram page. You can follow him at Granger Smith, or you can do like I do and just follow him in real life everywhere he goes without him notice. <laughs> Hi, Granger, how are you? What's up? What's up, bud? Be good, how are you? We also have fellow country artist Russell Dickerson, who I just looked up and found he is the most played country artist of the year, named Russell. That's right, there he is. <laughs> <laughs> all right, here we go. You're all competing for 100 bucks in cash, unless one of the stars wins, they're playing for 500 bucks for the charity of their choice. Round number one's easy, no one goes home the first round. Let's do the speed round. All right, up first, let's go over to you, listener Jordan. Jordan, where do you live? Tulsa, Oklahoma. Tulsa, Oklahoma. Oh, and, and Kaylin's dancing over here because you know she's from Oklahoma, right? Yeah, so and I, I'm from Hildale, uh, her arch rival high school. Oh, oh, hold on, come show them what you're doing. Do, do what you just did. There it is, all right. Jordan, your question is, what is the word for a second year student in high school or college? Sophomore. That is correct. Let's go over to Russell Dickerson. By the way, Russell released a brand new song called Home Sweet from his upcoming sophomore album. And by the way, just announced he's having a boy. Russell, congratulations. Thanks, bro. One of the happiest guys I know. Russell once told me that when he wakes up in the morning, he's always like, I just can't wait for every day. Every day is so amazing. He's so happy. It's true. Today's amazing too. Russell, easy trivia. In which country would you find the cities of Shanghai and Hong Kong? China. That is correct. China. Let's go over to listener Tom. Tom, how old are you? I'm 19. Is your name Tom or Thomas? Tom, Thomas, whichever you prefer. Yeah. This episode looks so young. It's like kids, kids do the darndest things. This is crazy. <laughs> All right, Thomas, your question is, in what Disney movie would you hear the catchphrase to infinity and beyond? Toy Story. That is correct. Listener Megan. Megan, where are you from? Tulare, California. All right, this one's for you. What's the name of Santa's reindeer that has a red nose? Rudolph. Rudolph is correct. Let's go over to Logan Legret, the son of one of the big boys at iHeartMedia, one of my dear friends. Logan, how are you, man? What's going on? All right, Logan, your question is, in what month is Valentine's Day? February. Correct, and the final question Let's is- Let's go. Great. Granger Smith is in some kind of shed with fancy equipment behind him. Uh, Granger, where are you right now? Uh, I'm in a garage. In just a garage? Is that what that is? Oh, you can call it a shed. You can call it a shed. Yeah, All right. I'll take it. Your, your question is, what color is associated with St. Patrick's Day? That would be green. That is correct. You're all on to the second round. Nice job, everybody. They get a little harder round number two. This is finish the lyric. Jordan, finish the lyric. Blame it all on my roots. I showed up in boots and ruined your blank. High class affair. Mm. Oh, I'm gonna get, because we never kick anyone off in the first two rounds. And your arch rival over here, Kayla, is laughing. <laughs> Blame it all on my roots. I showed up in boots and ruined your black. Oh, black tie affair. Correct, you're in the game. Hey, Russell, here's yours. Won't take nothing but a memory from the house that blank. Built me. That is correct. All right, Thomas, you got to know when to hold them, know when to blank. Know when to hold them, know when to lose them. Well, Thomas, no, 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 no. You're like nine years old, so I'm going to give you, you can, go to, <laughs> you can go to a lifeline here. Which of those guys would you like to save you? Russell Dickerson looks really confident right now. Russell, so know when to hold them, know when to uh, I would say fold them, Bobby. That is correct. Hey, Megan, here we go. All my exes live in? Texas. Correct. All right, 
Over to you, Logan. Logan, you're in your Pimp and Joy shirt over there, I see. I am. Gotta yeah. represent. Do you know country music? Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here we go. Completely honest. I fell into a burning ring of fire. Correct. Nice. Hey, look at that. And Granger, last question in this category. And if you tell my heart, my achy breaky heart, he might blow up and kill this man. Correct. You're all on to the next round. Nice job, everybody. Nice job. Now it's head-to-head -head challenge when people get eliminated. All right. Jordan, you can challenge anyone on the board head to head. Who do you like? Uh, listener Tom. All right, it's listener Jordan versus listener Thomas. Combined age, 24 of this, these two people here. All right, <laughs> just say your name as the buzzer, okay? Here we go. In what state would you find Venice Beach? Jordan. Jordan. California. That is correct. Listener Thomas, where are you, where are you beeping in from over here? Franklin, Tennessee. All right, bud. Well, yes. you and Russell apparently are, are just in different rooms in the same house. So I'm going to let you go. <laughs> We've been eliminated. Right. Thank you for playing. See you later, bud. Awesome. Thank you. Dinner. All right, there he goes. All right, Megan, you're up. Who would you like? Um, let's go with Granger. All right, it's Megan versus Granger Smith. By the way, Granger recently re uh, released a remix of his current song, That's Why I Love Dirt Roads, featuring Christian rapper Lathan Warlick. Is that how you say his name, Granger? Lathan. Lathan. I did, Lathan. I did see uh, on your Instagram all about that. Tell everybody watching about that, how the song came together. Yeah, I, I found this guy on Instagram, and uh, you guys should look him up. His name is Lathan Warlick, an amazing lyricist uh, from Memphis, Tennessee. And uh, we hooked up, and I said, hey, well, you want to put some, some new lyrics on this song? And he said, yes, we still haven't met yet because of this whole shutdown, but we've done everything uh, online. It's, I, I, I love this dude already. But check out That's Why I Love Dirt Roads uh, featuring Lathan Warlick with uh, Granger. Okay, here we go. It's Megan versus Granger. Say your name as your buzzer. Ocean City is a popular summer destination. What state is Ocean City? Granger. Granger. Is that, is that, is that in Jersey? Incorrect. Mm. Megan, take it home. Um, Ocean City. Oh, I know. I, I, I need a second chance. I'm gonna go with maybe Florida. <laughs> Incorrect. The uh, answer would have been Maryland. Maryland. That's Maryland. right. Sudden yeah. death. Second question with you two. Say so your name is the buzzer. Who wrote and sang "Summer of '69"? I got my first oh, real six string. I don't know. I, I. I have no idea. First name Brian. Oh, it's Brian Adams. Say um, your name, Granger. Oh, Megan. Granger, Brian Adams. Granger, that's correct. Granger wins. Megan, I got to let you go. Thank you for two hours back. All right, there she is, and away she goes. Boy, that's a, we struggle with that one. All right, it's Russell versus Logan. Final Let's question go. in head to head. Here we go. The first day of summer, by the way, say your name as your buzzer. The first name of summer is in what month? Russell. Solar. Russell. June. Correct. Legret. I was thinking something completely different. Like January? <laughs> I thought you said, what was the name of the first day of summer? Uh, what would you have said of the first day? Is it like the solar equinox or something? Mm. Uh, close enough, you still don't win. All right, Logan, <laughs> gotta let you go. I tried. See you later, bud. Good to see you. There he is, Logan Legret, everybody. <laughs> Round number four is name that villain. I will show you a villain. All you have to do is tell me which villain it is. Jordan, you're first. The Joker. That is correct. Hey, Russell, name this villain. At woman. Correct. Hey, Granger, can you name that villain? Uh, Corella DeVille. Correct. Jordan, name that villain. Darth Vader. Correct. Russell, name that villain. Uh, Hannibal Lecter. Correct. Granger, name this villain. Um, the, the, uh, the man with the man to not be named. Shall you name him? <laughs> Sorry, I can't remember. It starts with a Z, right? It does not start with a Z. <laughs> Granger, it is Voldemort. Voldemort, yes. I'm sorry. Well, no, no, because you didn't get it right. <laughs> yeah. So everybody check out. That's why I love Dirt Roads, but Granger, 
Uh, I don't love this part. That's saying goodbye to my friends calling in from their garages. Hey, uh, you can go. Hey, Yee Yee. We get people yee, check yee. out some new merchandise. Absolutely. Yee Yee. Yee Yee dot com. Yee Yee dot com. Granger, gotta go. See you soon. You, there he is. Granger Smith, everybody. All right, guys, we have two more. All you have to do is name the villain. From The Little Mermaid. I don't know her name. That is Ursula. If you get this right, Russell Dickerson, you win. Here we go. Oh, come on. My favorite movie ever. Scar. That is Scar, and we have a winner. There he is. He's having a board. He's got a new song out, and he just went super easy trivia. He loves every day like it's the best day in the whole world. Russell Dickerson, everyone. Hey, Jordan, good to see you. What is that there? Oh, you won the boxing glove I signed? My wife did, yeah. That's awesome, man. Well, thank you for uh, listening. Thanks for playing. I got to cut you. No money for you, but I appreciate you, bud. Thank you. All right, and 500 bucks goes to the charity of Russell Dickerson's Choice. Congratulations, Russell Dickerson! Thanks, bro. All right, there he is. Be sure to check out Home Sweet from Russell Dickerson. 500 bucks is going to any charity you want. Do you want to pick it now, or do you want to text me after the game? It's up to you, buddy. No, let's do it right now. Give a shout out to uh, Love One, my peeps, TR and Lauren. All right, 500 bucks going over there, Russell. You're the man, congratulations. And that's it for this week's episode of Super Easy Trivia. We'll see you next time, everybody.